but before starting let me introduce you your VBA module in that for running for working and uh, in VBA you need to have this developer toolbar on your toolbox yeah yeah I already have and I know how to how to yeah okay next thing you need you have to take care about this macro security just click on that okay. and it should be enable okay. Uh -huh. okay then you can open your window through shortcut alt f11 or you can press this button visual basic uh -huh. so this is your VBA environment hmm. Suppose that this window we call Project Explorer. If it is not coming to your sheet, it's not appearing. You can have from here here also, or you can press Control R for that. Uh -huh. Next, you can have properties or press F4 from your keyboard. I just set it this. Let me just set it um, before I start working. This is your code window. This is your project explorer and this is your properties. What happened? It's not fixing or? Yes. I just fix it first. Yeah. So this is our project explorer, this is our properties. Okay. So through properties we can access our sheets. Which one is selected the property will be shown to you. And as you know the you can set the properties as per your requirements such as visibility and a lot of another options to this. Now, this area 
which is for sheet one you can see book one sheet one code so you can code here also but it is a problem there is a problem that if you delete sheet one that code will be lost so for that we use insert and module we work in module we can do it in the workbook this workbook also no that's uh, not only sheet i think right uh, we can use but only for this workbook we can uh, use the code aha okay okay A module means it will work for any A any any vba pro any workbook okay okay yeah okay so there is two options with us in vba one is macro second is function in technical term function okay in technical terms we call it procedure sub sub procedure so this is a macro hmm. sub a procedure okay yes uh, sub a uh, i will type and b it is a function function b okay what is the difference between macro and function i, I don't know sir really yeah see i type a message box here msg box and in inverted comma i do hello mm. okay then here i will use b then in inverted comma hello okay so i have created a macro here a function here okay when we open this macro window we can see only macro here we can run it from here okay but for using function we need to press equal to uh, type the macro name back and open close and enter so hmm. okay equal to okay sir okay so it works like function for using as a customized function we use function keyword in this module whatever calculation we do do we have to return that to the function name okay so it will appear when you type the formula okay so this is the major difference be between macro and function in uh, other terms we can say the macro we use where we do work through our mouse okay hmm. uh, such as we are typing we are making formatting bold italic we are making uh, hmm. filling colors so this thing we can do with macros and for especially the calculation we use functions so this okay. is the major difference between macro and function okay uh, you mean to that like uh, if i want to run v lookup uh, for a particular thing for a particular uh, like that or how it is uh, yes 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 if you want to okay. create customized v lookup or a formula that okay. can calculate uh, service tax so specialized formulas okay we use this function keyword okay then we need to create uh, let's start with we will uh, some other day we will come to function let's start yeah. with macros 
for starting macros you need to program something actually uh, like a raw chart a planning required first thing is start which we have done starting through declaring the sub procedure okay you just type sub and the, fun, uh, the macro name press enter now in this area you have to code now yeah. what we are going to do in our a1 i want to type name then roll number then marks these th three things i need to type so first what i have to do for selection then type anything okay so in macro we will do we recognize address as a range and in brackets we give the references such as a1 in inverted comma then dot value okay then equal to whatever you want to type if you are providing text you need to enter in inverted commas name then in second b1 roll number then we have marks in c1 so this is a short macro i just delete this now for running macro what i have need to do just uh, click on this macro button and then here it is and we can play it from here run this thing so you will find the effect directly mm -hmm. or we can use this macro button why this no, this is not showing here there is something no, problem no it is here actually it it should not be disabled yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it should not be disabled actually there is a problem i think and every time where it is going anyway i understood the point yes okay so i just change the name to a maybe there should be there will be any problem with that the name so i just go to macro a is here and run so when we use run you will find there are changes okay okay so bas basically this is a short procedure for macro for that you need to first start declaring the variable with sub and name okay then range selection and then enter value range selection enter value and end a a, a line by line instruction whatever is to be done okay so basically this is a short procedure for macro that how to write the macros then we have 
another thing that if you want to what is what is that Jan? go back to that uh, one uh, that yeah. macro uh, yeah there is a general in the top uh, drop down menu uh, don't go with that it will show only okay, okay, the okay. procedure which you have created okay, okay. here okay okay sir. If you, so next what we will do so we can uh, record macros here also when we need to give uh, uh, do the uh, same thing such as i want to create a format here i will do record macro the macro name will be assigned here and if any shortcut i want to create here such as i want to use q okay control shift q okay this will be the shortcut so recording is started now here is the option now turned into stop recording so i will carefully uh, type the values roll number marks then i select this data go to home apply all borders i just bold this fill color fill another color here now i will do stop recording okay i have created a format here i just remove it delete here now i can see in our macro we have macro one this one when i run this it instantly create that format that working that can record and if you want to see the code so just you can see here it is module 2 and there in the name of macro 1 this is the thing we have done ok let's understand code first active cell means which cell which was already activated like this I have selected that meant it is active cell dot formula r1 c1 we can use value here also so here he has given name then it has selected b1 then if he selected b1 then b1 is now active cell then formula r1 c1 roll number then c1 selection then formula r1 c1 then I have selected the range A1 to C9 which one it is A1 to C9 this ok and with selection we have done some border things all borders I have applied so all codes is here through this for every border right side border left side border top border bottom border it is the pattern x selection interior pattern excel solid solid line is there pattern color index automatic means black theme color tint and shade so there are a lot of codes there then we have range d2 dot select at the last i have selected this one it was also coded so you can get the codes if you are not able to uh, if you don't know the code you can do from here also such as if you are applying some filter and if you don't know the code then what you just do just record a macro for that and then apply that I have applied filter then stop recording then we can see there is a module 2 and macro 2 selection dot auto filter or range dot auto filter this thing will apply auto filter suppose I have uh, removed filter from here I have selected this data and go to macro and run this macro 2 it will apply 
auto filter on my selection so we get to know that how to record the macro okay yeah now let's uh, and there are three three things uh, to record one is in the active workbook the second one is uh, personal macro and third one is uh, i think uh, something is there no the three types of macro saving the macro uh which one say yes yes, yes. Uh, yeah when, yeah can you tell me that that part now when you have uh, done your all uh, macro work then you need to save in a special format go to save as and you need to uh, select a format excel macro enable workbook this is uh, necessary because if you don't do then your macro will be lost your vba file will be lost okay so i just save it to my desktop and you can see there is a sign like this this file look like six so we have opened our macro yeah, I know, I know. macro workbook okay now just go to visual basic so there are codes in module 1 module 2 so there are lot of codes and we can uh, know that how if we can do manually by mouse then we can record it and play with it L now let uh, let's know the basics of programming this is how we work with our macro workbook vba window visual basic window now let's come back to our plt now one one question sir before going to that yes sir this in excel the when you run the first can you go to the excel and run macro yes i select another sheet yeah you select one sheet and click the run macro uh, from here I have just not, run. Sorry, not uh, I mean stop start recording macro there is no macro okay. being recorded uh, reco uh, yeah just can you record uh, record macro click yes first yes yeah click yeah here the uh, store the macro in this workbook mm -hmm. there is a three four options are there I have a doubt on it. Can you click the drop down menu? Yes. Personal, Personal mac macro workbook, new workbook and this workbook. What it mean actually? New workbook means your code will be saved to a another file. Okay. Yeah, it will not, it will, even though we are using that, it will not save in this workbook. Yes. So in, if you personal go macro in personal, personal macro workbook, it will, it will store in your Excel itself, in a, if you go in Excel option, go to customization, and here you will find macro. So all the macro which are in your personal workbook, it is here. Okay. This will be uh, okay. the macro. Uh, from here we can run the rec Yes, yes. The macro which will be saved in your personal workbook will be available in any file of Excel of your computer. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. And you can add in your quick access toolbar also mm -hmm. for running. Okay okay or otherwise we how we can access we have to go to the file and there only we can access otherwise the macro coding will be available only on that file where you have you have coded okay so there is uh, nothing i will tell you later in further okay. classes we will uh, know about more options now let's start with our programming logics and techniques 
so in, in our first chapter we just uh, get to know this uh, signs what is this called so first is for starting the this this section actually is for planning flow charts how we plan we can type but the better process is this where we can understand the programming language so for start and stop we use this round shape symbol for process we use this rectangle for input we use this uh, rectangular shape uh, which is tilted and for decision we have this the kind of shape for display or displaying output this kind of shape connector on page connector means if you are connecting the code on same page this is actually uh, not needed by us because this is for your documentation only for writing portion only not used by excel or any other language it, it is just for planning if your code is lengthy and you, if you want to show that half code is here and half is here so you can use this connector that it ends here and it continues from here off page connector means you can find this uh, uh, its reference into another page okay then co connectors or flow lines so these arrows is called your flow lines or connector so now we let us know that how we what is this is it is a decision box it is a process box process it's, yeah it is an input box input this is what your start sign and this is for output output yeah these five symbols are uh, necessary then let's have a program procedure for admission in iicp there is a institute named iicp so how we create a process start then first process is goes to icc iicp center the student first goes to iicp center it is a process then fills inquiry form it is an input he is giving some information that means it is an input to the center appear for a test it is a process of a center then counseling it is also a process of a center then fills the registration form the registration form he gives the information so it is an input then pays the fees to the center it is a process because no information is exchanging here it is just a process if you pay the fees then what will be the output if you follow these kind of all procedure then you will come to you will be able to join the course and get the student kit stop so this is just kind of picture of a program that's how we create process in companies there is a operation department who does such kind of planning for preparing any kind of process in iso certification in any other type of thing we create processes such as our appraisal form it has a process that uh, start give the uh, form to employee then employee gives to his senior authority he approves and uh, rejects it is a decision so this kind of thing we do let's go ahead with our next program that we will create in computer first it start then input is get the first number actually in programming we are creating formula functions kind of things or a procedure mm. we are not doing work we are just uh, creating the path for others 
that how they will do so it is like that so get the first number get the second number input in the process the computer adds two number and then display the result okay so if i draw this program uh i just uh, yes yeah I, i just create this program that we have input box here for input so mm. input box here i am tapping enter first number okay mm. the value will be saved in any variable i say a hmm. i just type in a bracket this thing hmm. okay the second number i will store in b see here it is an assignment operator that means mm. what value get we get in input box what is input box let me show you okay i have uh, named as a same thing so i just change the name because the fu function uh, procedure name and yeah, this yeah. so i just play this so this is an input box where we enter value so here we are asking for one value so here we have entered 10 when we press okay that 10 will be stored in your c okay hmm. so and if we next time call c if we type message box uh, c so it will give me the value of c for comment which are not executable we use this quotation mark and it will turn into green that code will not be executed it will consider as a text like uh, for description so mm. uh, let's run this thing i just enter 10 press okay it gone to c and c passed to message box this is 10 mm. okay so this is the basically process so what i am doing is if you uh, take the reference of the program so get the first number get the second number add the two number okay so what i am doing getting the first number here getting the second number here and in our r section i am doing c plus b the two numbers will be plus and will be assigned into r now i will call r here okay so this is the whole program for that get the first number get the second number <coughs> add the two numbers display the result so for displaying i am using a message box so let's run the program here i am passing first number as a 10 second number as 20 and mm. there is a problem now mm. it is showing me as 1020 yeah. why why because my computer don't know mathematical calculation we are doing mathematical calculation or what mm. because the input box is getting this number as a text Mm-hmm. So we have basically a formula for that C int means convert to integer C int convert to integer. Now these two are converted into integer. now it will automatically behave as a integer previously when we have done it was behaving like a text 
now let's do it again 10 second number 20 now 30 okay so there is a data type also data type concept where I have shown you that it was concatenating just the two numbers so when we go in depth we have these five number adding procedure also we can do by same way except first number except second number except third number except fourth number fifth number then in process add five numbers in output display the sum then it stop so we can do it easily then we have start input a number multiply by two display the result all the mathematical calculation we can do with the help of this plus minus sign plus minus divide next I introduce you variable and concept constant what is the variable here display the value of an item such as pronoun a heading so there are two parts one is like character or text which we are not calculating and second one is numerics which we calculate so we are fixing one prefix as a C in item names because we don't want to calculate this variable variables are the placeholders of your values such as headings so you want to store item names the C B R which we have used is called variables your variables it has the property whether it it is to be behaved like text or numeric so for behaving like numeric I have used this function C int not every time we have to do this C int if we have declared this value to dim i uh, dim c as integer then we don't need to do this thing we declare any value like this b as integer so if we have previously told our variable that you belongs to integer category so we don't know, need to do this C int I think it will work 10 30 40 okay sir so yeah. declaration is also necessary okay so here we are talking about in PLT declaration for character or text string we are using this character and prefixed by C so that we can recognize later that it belongs to character and n price n quantity and n value these are values are you uh, will be used for calculation so we are keeping these values in numeric with prefixed n okay so what we are doing here accept C item name accept n price accept n quantity we are accepting in item name price and quantity then we are calculating the value of the purchased item n value will be equal to the value will be equal to price multiplied by quantity okay unit price multiplied by quantity then we what we will get value of the product value of the total uh, quantities then what is it's displaying display C item name and value okay it is a billing program so we have used here and for characters such as he was using item name I will use s as 
string any name i can provide so i introduce two things here string and integer so for a string what i will do integer means it is a number right yes always number. it's like a yeah okay it's it is a number but not decimal if we want to but use not, de, uh, not decimal okay uh -huh. it will be a whole number so mm -hmm. uh, for using decimal what we will do double is there okay i will tell you later about double okay. but let's let's have the functionality of string in s i am passing input box itself is a function that's why we use like this input box and here i will enter the caption enter your name okay in my message i will display welcome use concatenation uh, no here it is not there because message box accept text only so welcome and concatenate it with and sign welcome s the value will be as in will be shown here and with concatenated with this one and we in between we need to provide this some space so after and i provide a space and then again and okay let's run the program enter your name sandeep first number 100 second number 200 then it is showing welcome sandhi 300 result okay or i can give here the result is just like this name second number then welcome Sandhi the result is 275 so we are basically creating software kind of thing from here okay are you understanding are you comfortable with this thing yeah 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 okay so basically I am why I am telling I am connecting these option with uh, real with the real world of visual basic okay yeah so these concepts are necessary then let's have another concept here we have we are using here decision box okay we have done if else condition if condition value if true value if false so we will do logical tests here the find out if a number is divisible by 5 or not so start in process we have declared a variable numeric n number accept n number get the number from user then create some if else position that is number is modulo by 5 it is called modulo sign here you can see this percentage sign here but it is a modulo sign for programming language it is called a modulo sign that means your reminder we use mod in excel okay so if it is zero that means it is divisible by five when reminder is zero that means it will be divisible by five if yes we use value if true if yes then flow goes to here display divisible by 5 if no uh, means in the part of value if 
false we will use display not divisible by 5 stop okay now let's connect this decision box in our programming sub dc so first we are declaring a variable through n number dim n n number as integer okay then we have accept an n number n number I am collecting through input box and caption enter the number how many we have sir actually just for a, my curiosity I'm asking like input and DAM this kind of funk I mean uh, uh, string integer this kind of things how many are there maybe hundreds uh, or no 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 not hundred string integer double long date and class and you will uh, know how to define it by yourself also okay okay you can create your kind of data type also this is called data type I will uh, I will tell you in detail when we will come to this its step chapter I am just connecting okay. the logic only okay that how program is programmed actually so first first I have declared an integer here yeah? then in that integer I have accepted value from user okay so this is our input part then we have mm. we need decision and we provide if uh, n number mod by 5 equal to 0 then else and if So this is your if else procedure. There is your logical condition here. Mm. Okay. In after this logical condition you have to uh, give here then. And here you will display message box that divisible by five okay in else part what you will do value if false not divisible by five see you see in yes part divisible by five so in yes part after then it is yes part so I have typed divisible by five in no mm. part not divisible file so after else keyword it will run in not divisible by file then end and if so this is basically the procedure of if else mm. in VBA so now let's do practical run this thing uh, typing 20 ok divisible by 5 again running the program 21 ok not divisible by 5 mm. ok you can do one more thing if you want to see what is the uh, uh, how the code is running you can press F8 from your keyboard so it will marked as yellow it will show it will come in second line enter the number displaying here 21 ok then it is evaluating now 
now the number mm -hmm. is 21 it is showing in a string screen tip when I hover my mouse to this n number okay it has n number then I press F8 again so after condition check when it is false then it has jumped into else part it has not executed this thing then this thing was executed and this is the result okay then end if through end subject program ends here okay sir okay yeah now let's move to another option here display the nar largest number of three numbers so this thing I will give you just create by your own okay okay using, yeah I'll do that using the same thing and uh, if uh, just explore the net on that also so that you can yeah. understand okay in this you can see the flow line goes to yes and no both so you can mm. type if else uh, here also here because yes no both is going in the same direction so here you will be pasting it because after that it will jump to this okay after this one it will jump to this after this one it will jump to this and after this and if it will jump to this one this is okay so mm -hmm. you can create these things also so just try by yourself just for understanding yeah. the logic okay because mm -hmm. uh, they are they are using just understand the logic manipulate uh, the integer uh, the or that variables they are transferring the values okay just understand that yeah. and create that one time okay mm. okay sir so we will wait uh, okay. tomorrow tomorrow yeah yeah sure and we will continue again because it it takes time to understand yeah yeah no I understood yes sir. Okay. Uh, one question uh, I have some practical one question uh, one only about two minutes I'll take from you yes yes, yes. yeah uh, 